that I had work, worked on before. I was very look at, look, look. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. This is the last video that I'm going to film to, <laughs> with this makeup and this shirt on. So hopefully you can stick around for this video as well. But it is a very exciting video that I'm going to film. It is my Pandos eyeshadows update number two. I have two pants to show you guys, to share with you guys, and I can roll in two new items. I'm really excited about it. So if you want to see what I have pen on, please keep on watching. So I have now done my pen percentage before I did this video, so I can actually share with you guys. I will share some bonus pants with you guys uh, this month because I actually have some. I have hit pen on this shade from my Panda palette, if you haven't seen it. I just filmed my update so there's no spoilers but I have pan on Essence Snowflake that is the white shade in this palette and in Marzipan and um, so these are the two new pans that is not pan those eyeshadows that I can share with you guys this month and the other two comes from these two palettes and you guys were totally right all of you guys said either this one or this one I could have pan on by this update I did both I'm really excited. That pan is so small. I was very lucky to roll in a shade that I worked on before in this project and that meant I had a very big dent in it beforehand. So I used it like one or two times, I believe, all over my crease and then I hit pan on it. This is the Delicious palette from W7. It is a dupe for the Modern Renaissance, as you can see. I rolled in shade number 12. And as you can see, I have the slightest bit of pan. <laughs> I am very excited and I have used this for a few times here in February. It was a perfect shade for Valentine's and I wore it two times around Valentine's so that is really really exciting. That is going to be rolled out. I know it is the smallest pan but I'm very happy and I really want to work on something else. <laughs> the other pan comes from my W7 Life's a Peach palette. This one right here and it is a matte palette and I was working on ripe and juicy this has been in from the beginning that shade right there it was the perfect brownie orangey crease shade for me now my crease shade is very soft because I saw the camel but yeah I'm really happy to have pan on this one so I can wear something else and other colors on my eyes this was my focus shade this month, actually. I have used this the most. It is the Make Maybelline Smoky Eyes. And I sh pulled out the shade number 3, which is this burgundy brownie shade right there. And as you can see, I have a lot of wear in the middle of the tree. I, I still have a long way to go on this, but I like it. I do. It is just a little bit deep, but... I can make it work. I love my looks that I do with this shade. Yeah, I just need to have a focus shade at a time and this was definitely it for this month. I used it in every eye look that I did. So yeah, still no pan, but quite a few uses on this one. The next two shadows I didn't use this month at all. I have the W7 Bangkok Nights palette and I was working, I am working on this light lavender lilac shade. It has a big dent but I created that in January so maybe I can do it this month. I don't know. I really want to work on the green shades in my panda palette this month. For the Morphe palette I'm working on 35OM which is the palette that is matte and I am working on, on that shade right there and I did not use it this month so it doesn't have any uses but it's just very very similar because it is a darker shadow similar to the Maybelline one twenty-six oh that might be a darker shade I have a rule of only a few dark shades at a time it is from my Urban Decay Gwen Stefani palette it is the shade stark if it is a darker shadow i will just pull again here we go one 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 hundred and eleven 
Oh, that is a number from... Okay, I will pull again because that is from my Morphe palette. <clears throat> Three... Or what? Sixteen. Okay, that is from my Morphe palette and that is... Number sixteen. Let me go... Let me go find the palettes and let's see what it is and then we can might maybe maybe we're going to pull again. I don't know. I don't remember what shade those are. Let me go take the Morphe palette and that is a darker shade and I'm just going to pull again. So I go across so that is seven, seven, fourteen, fifteen and sixteen. So no way. If it was this one, maybe, but it isn't. So I'm going to pull again for that one. Because it goes against my rules. <laughs> the MDK Gwen Stefani palette. And I chose the shade Stark. Oh my god, that is reflective. And it is this shade right here in the middle. So that is okay. It is kind of a transition shade. It's a very, very, very light one. Um, so maybe I can set my eyelid with it. No, I can't. It is too dark. I actually pulled uh, 359. But I'm just going to pull again. 334. <laughs> ah, of course, it is from my delicious palette. It is shade number 7. Oh my god, why? The colors are not with me. This shade right there, another dark one. Nope, that is almost identical to the Morphe shade that I'm panning in this project. So no. 22. Why is so hard? Why is it so hard to pick a shade? <laughs> oh my god, that is that might be a dark one as well. Oh my god, Sagittarius shades are always dark in the BH Cosmetic Zodiac palettes. And this is the Love Signs one. One moment, it's a dark brown. Why? <laughs> Please, why? That one. Why? I knew it. It is a freaking dark brown. Give me a break. Maybe I should just click and not not shake. Okay, let's choose another one. 56. Please be a good shade. Yes, that is from Blush Tribe Hesina palette. So that is not a dark one. <laughs> But it is a colorful palette, so that is exciting. Let me go grab it. It is called Layla. So as you guys know, Blush Time is not around anymore. So that is really unfortunate because these palettes and formula are beautiful. Um, and the layout of the palette is amazing. I love it so much. This is the Hasina palette from Blush Tribe. And I chose or got the shade Layla. And guess what? There are no more dark shades. There are no dark shades in this. Uh, yeah, I got Layla, which is the yellow shade. Yes. I'm so excited to have the yellow in this project. And it is perfect for spring and summer. It is so perfect. So that is going to match my panel palette really well. Let me go show you the new color story and we can end this video. I have seen better color stories than this in this kind of series from other YouTube. I hate my camera today. It is so annoying. So annoying. So what do you guys think about my color story? It is definitely a more boring one, but it is getting better and lighter. So that is good. So let's talk about my pan percentage. Because I have four new pans this month. Which is really exciting. February's update, I had 38 pans out of 499 shadows, which is 7.62%. And because I hit pan on 4 eyeshadows this month, it is now 42 pans out of 499 shadows, which is 8.42%. And I do know I only roll like 445 shadows or something like that. But I remove the ones that I have hit pan on in my spreadsheet. So I don't have that to work on. So I hope that makes sense. 
so I'm really happy that we are we are already above eight percent and hopefully I can hit pan on something soon again I don't know if I can hit pan on anything by next update in this project and I don't know if I can have any new bonus pants for next update but I will do my best and I will share with you guys the looks that I have for this month so I of course are not prepared for this part either it took a while for me to have any makeup on this month so let's talk about this one this is the look where I have the delicious shade in my crease I have mask pan on the lid and then I have the Maybelline one in my outer corner I really put a lot in my crease because I really wanted it to be pink because it was Valentine's or the day before at least so I really really enjoy that look then we have this one I really wanted to hit pan on the shade so I put it all over my lid and on my lower lash line I really wanted to hit pan on it because I was so close unbelievable Close. I have that in my crease, the delicious shade. I have marzipan on my lid, I believe. I don't think I have anything underneath. Um, and then I have the Maybelline one in my outer corner and then duochrome liner on top so it is masking everything. <laughs> I didn't like the liner look that day because it was really chunky. So annoying. Um, I don't believe I use more than those shadows uh, in that look. Then we have this look. This is the look where I hit pan on my ripe and juicy shade from the peach palette. So I have that in my crease. I have master pan on the lid and then I have the Maybelline one, the Maybelline shadow in my outer corner. So that was a very easy look. And then we have this look, which was interesting. <laughs> where I use a lot of the blue duochrome liner. So yeah, I only used the Maybelline shadow in my outer corner, but I used milk chocolate and the Essence shadow and mouse pan, I believe. Maybe it was this look that I had pan on the ripe and juicy shade because that is very orange as well. Maybe it is. And I used the Maybelline eyeshadow in my outer corner. In this look, I used the Maybelline shadow in the outer corner as well. And the same with this one. And that is my latest. That was from yesterday, I believe. Those are the looks that I did this month. I hope you guys enjoyed them, even though they were very orange but at and pink. I tried to hit pan on those shadows because I could see the end of those. They were so close at hitting pan, so I did wear those a lot. And then it came a blob because I only used the Maybelline one um maybe i can work on the morphe one next month but that is also a dark shadow so it doesn't really make a difference hopefully you can see a more purple and yellow looks next month because i rolled those in i need to see what i can use dark with maybe in my crease because that is just very skin tone and matte but it is darker than my skin tone so I don't know. <laughs> Let's see what I come up with. I hope you guys enjoyed this update. If you did, please give it a like, subscribe down below, and you can check out my other panning videos on my channel. I do a lot of them, like a lot, and I I will end it now, and you will stop seeing me in this shirt for a while, and I hope you guys are going to take care of yourself, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!